good day. Um, that's Bravo. <laughs> anyway, in the Avatar, he has a V on his head, and he also has the pineal gland right there highlighted. Um, that kind of illustrates, you know, the Fifth Age will have the Mark of the Beast cut out. It'll be a combination of these reptilian things, you know. The Freemason compass has a V, and then the compass itself is 60 degrees, and the V is 90 degrees. Um, All-seeing eye will have gone after Jesus comes back, because that's the devil. I mean, he, the Satan can go to and from earth and heaven right now. But when Jesus comes, he's going to be cast down to earth, can't go to heaven. There'll be a totally new heaven. Like when you smoke DMT, heaven will be different. But you won't be allowed to after the New World Order anyway. So the V for the Fifth Age and the G, I think, stands for grace ending. These two are going to converge. The Satan will be cast down during the Fifth Age. This goes down, this goes up. The G will disappear, no more grace. It's also the button. The turning of the, the nukes. Looks like a little reptilian eye too, huh? Anyway, Into Darkness. The book of Acts, verse uh, chapter 2, verse 20. Talks about the sun will be cast into darkness and the moon will look blood red. You know, that's, that's that fake alien ship coming down. For the fake invasion. Um, go to that in a minute. I was just looking through some old school tapes. V for the video. <laughs> Fifth age. Uh, Wonder, uh, his left eye is gone, Mark of the Beast. Colors has the owl and the bear, <laughs> painted with blood because it's Russia. Sorry, let me light it up a little. It's a Christian book with a big V on it. It's called Greater. It has a V even on the side. Why? Is that part of the title? Um, I'll show that in a second. You see where that's going? Um, Kaaba. V is highlighted. Jack the Ripper, V. Um, the book of Revelation and Ezekiel talk about, you know, the man, the beast with the head of a man, lion, eagle, and bull. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio is also eagle, not just scorpion, and Taurus the bull. With Jesus the sun in the center, the twelve disciples, the four fixed signs of the zodiac. I mean, if you put this in a circle, they would be equidistant from each other. In the very center is Earth, which Jesus rules over. Uh, v, rules of vengeance. Oblivion, and David Foster Wallace book. But look where the V is on the side. Oh, it's right on the side of the book, of course. I love him, but you know, he's part of the system. You can't blame him. Raven Black. So if, if the Earth was the size of the pixel, That'd be the size of the sun. If the sun were the size of a pixel, that would be Antares. This is a crazy universe we live in. It's huge. Chuck Klosterman, the owl. See that picture? <clears throat> you know, no biggie. Code Orange, uh, new book. Uh, Grox talks about the color orange, like Clockwork Orange. Um, harvest Time. Even the two circles for the dome and the spiral coming. I think I already showed this one, just some book. And the V Wars. Okay. Now, Christianity is hiding mushrooms in their paintings. Look at all these mushrooms. That's even Adam and Eve, and that's Jesus. That's Jesus. Oh, well, that's the creator, cosmic Jesus, holding the compass. And then there's Jesus, the god of plants. Or, or something like that. Just pause it on here if I could fucking focus it. Okay. Just pause it on there and read that. <laughs> In fact, for all of these, just pause it once it comes into focus. Because you'll get the idea. The cap on the top. Cap. Angel pointing at the red blood with the dots in it. It's actually a mushroom. This painting, if you zoom in real close here, mushroom right there. Angel, mushroom. Uh, 
There it is. Let's do that one twice. Mushroom here. Mushroom there. <laughs> Sitting under the mushroom tree. They're looking at it. They're adorning it during the baptism of Jesus. That's crazy. Anyway, sorry I'm not talking. I mean, picture's worth a thousand words, you know? And you can just read the bottom of these when you pause them. These are all from like 1000 BC, I mean AD, you know? Look at that. <clears throat> 1073. Two mushroom trees instead of the two Thebes. I mean, mushrooms are related to your di uh, pineal gland. It's a similar drug to DMT. A similar drug to ayahuasca. They all affect your pineal gland. All the dumb party drugs or the prescription drugs do the exact opposite to your pineal gland. They made all the drugs illegal that helped your pineal gland. They're going to mark, they take it out with the mark of the beast. You know? <laughs> Start reading the scripture. Take it seriously. You want, you know, you want to know why you, you were told that it was really dumb? Because that's how society set it up. Because it's real. Just like Nietzsche is not a nihilist anti-Semite, chauvinist, um, you know, atheist. It's a complete opposite. He's t Nietzsche took down morality like Jesus, and 1844 was the return of Jesus' uh, archetype. The archetype like Quetzalcoatl or Cyrus. It's all the archetype of Jesus. He keeps coming back until his actual, literal coming. We're just, we're all archetypes of him. And today's a great disappointment cure day. 1844, a week prior, Nietzsche was born. Okay, y'all can watch my other videos if I go into that. Peace.